Thank you, Clint. Our big story this morning, a huge move by the FDA could push even more people to get vaccinated. The Pfizer coronavirus vaccine could receive full FDA approval as early as today. 2 News Oklahoma reporter Brady Halb live joins us live. Brady, a full approval could help more people get vaccinated. Yeah, well, right now the Pfizer vaccine is only under emergency use authorization and the move would be a big one, especially for getting more people vaccinated, especially for those who are on the fence about getting one in the first place. Now, according to the Kaiser Family Foundation, more than 30% of unvaccinated Americans are waiting for full approval by the FDA before they get the shot. Now, full approval will likely apply to initial age groups that were tested for emergency use. That means anyone 16 and up now vaccine Vaccines that are under emergency use and those that are fully authorized are both subject to the same rigorous testing from the FDA. An emergency use authorization is only applied when there is immediate need for the public. One major difference under emergency use is that testing and production happens at the same time to streamline a vaccine out to the public as quickly as possible if it is safe and effective and can save lives. Dr. Bruce Dart said in a news conference Thursday that vaccines are key to saving lives as area hospitals continue to fill up with COVID patients, the majority of them unvaccinated. 90% of those in our hospitals today are unvaccinated. The current situation that is strained in our healthcare system is, is, a, is a preventable tragedy and never has to happen. Moderna's vaccine could be fully approved as early as September. Now, once Pfizer receives full approval, the company is then expected to ask to approve the third booster shot as well. Now, if you would like to know that more about the difference between full approval and emergency youth use authorization, you can head to our website, KJRH.com. Now, live in Tulsa, Brady Halb, live to News Oklahoma.